Today on FinShoot we're going to look at backtesting technical studies. All technical studies or trading strategies should be backtested and Bloomberg makes this easy. To get there simply go top left hand corner, backtest, space, basic backtesting. This brings up immediately a table that covers a series of top strategies on the left hand side for the security you're looking for. I can sort this by total and this will give me the profit and loss for the period in the top left corner. In this case from the 7th of June 2012 to the 7th of June 2013. If I wanted to broaden these dates I could change this back as far as five years. What you'll note is the broader I make it, the different profit and losses that occur according to different strategies. Obviously some work better in some markets and others work better in other markets. You'll also note that I can test using daily, weekly or monthly. Long and short, long only and short only. Obviously some markets allow for different movement and different positions. Equities it's more difficult to be short. In CFDs you can be long and short. If I jump in and want to test something I can have a look at what simple moving average is and this will show me when my trades would have taken place plus what my continuous profit and loss would have been over time had I held on to these positions as suggested. I can open this up and have a look specifically at what the trade would have been. If I hover over, in this case cover and go long and you can see what would have occurred. On the same token the top close and go short and that's what would have occurred. On the right hand side what I can see is the number of trades I would have made short and long, long and short number of wins, number of losses and what my PL and drawdown would have been down the bottom. These are all really handy indicators that will allow you to test your model according to different types of markets and different trends. If I wanted to then change this strategy I'd hit edit and this would take me to what the strategy was with a definition down the bottom and I'd be able to add from a series of factors available on the left hand side. What you'll note is if I choose another rule this adds it to the selected factors box. Once I have the rule selected I can then add another rule and then use that as the basis for adding more conditions. So in this case what I need to do is I can put these in and then I can join rules and say and when this event occurs between this event and so on and so forth. We'll go in more detail into setting up rules at a later date. What we've covered today on FinChute has been BTST fee looking at the table, sorting between and looking at a series of profitable trades as well as drilling into a trade to find out when you would have bought and sold. Always allowing you to test for what's occurring in the market. 